dog is unable to speak through the small bag he holds in his mouth. I don't know. Maybe you can tell me. All I know is I thought of you when I saw it. a step. Absolutely not. Saluna did call forth the moon and the stars. Shah cloaked them in shadow to cover our scars. Seen her run with a barrel under her arm. Just a small one, but enough to blow the drow out. Someone should grab it. Slaves are never gonna manage with pickaxes. Can't go chasing maybes. The sergeants are ticket in. Oh, would you look at that, Kerr? Someone's having a listen. A shiver runs through you. Your mind is awash with ancient resentments. True soul, no less. What do you think, Kerr? Should we take Nia's debt off him? I ain't parlaying with more twat souls. And you got the stench. If I didn't know better, I'd say a mind flayer shat a worm in your brain. Should split your head open and poke around in there if you lot don't pay up. Shiver returns. This time it's colder, sharper. The stench don't lie. You're one of them. Something's different with you. In that case, want to earn some gold? Ain't my gold I'm offering. It's the true souls. Thrins after the absolute glory. That's why she's got those slaves digging for Nia. But we ain't need glory. Just coin! And Nia's got plenty. Help Thryn free Nier. Then you and my chums grind him up. Whatever the spoils, we'll drop you a fat cut. You in? Half. You drugnin. Fine. Half it is. But you need to bust Nier out first. Some days back, a slave gnome bolted with smoke powder. Handy stuff. Her crew know more than they're letting on. See if you can get them to talk. Now move. You're hogging my air. See how their little pricks do when we strap fire to their legs. <laughs> Charming. Hell is truly where we make it. Move, Hoon! 
I don't have time for Drugna and outsiders. Dead. Drugman Gek. Figured I could count on him. Lesson damn well learned. Now move! I've got no time for- The parasite stirs, but it's a mere tickle. You hear no thoughts or memories. Just an echo of scars that never healed. A true soul, eh? Useless wreck of a lookout could have told me. Glad you're here to take responsibility. Tunnels collapsed. Trapped true soul near. He's stuck in there with poisoned geezers. We don't get him out soon. It's both our heads. No need for that. Nears is the only head that matters to us. Place is older than bone dust. Previous tenants left a trap. Dropped a shit ton of metal once we dug a ways in. Get near out, and you'll have the absolute's blessing. No doubting that. Entrance to an ancient temple. General's orders, Nier said. Must contain something important. He got me to recruit non-believers. But not everyone's seeing the Absolute's truth. They don't get paid soon. I'll have a riot on my hands. Thought you would. True souls don't abandon their own. in soft whispers, the words all but lost in the hot air. We'll never get through. We need that smoke powder. Finamine's gone, and if she's smart, she won't be coming back. Tell the sergeant where she went. Beltron's still trapped with that maniac near. Praise Ironhand. Lerida, our prayers are answered. Sir, our friends are trapped in the cave-in. And I know a way to get them out. Bug, please. Truce or near will... You know what he'll do. Yank, Bug, don't! I've... I've got no choice, Lerida. We have to chance it. A few days back, there was a... a scene. Our friend Philomene, she's a sapper, set off a blast and ran off. We set a spot for hiding if someone found trouble. I'll mark your map. If Philomene made it, you'll find her there. She'll have the stuff to blow that tunnel wide open and get Beldron and the rest out. Please don't hurt my Phil. I beg you. Hurry! Our people won't last in that cave in forever. Ah, oh, it's you. The mascot of my ill fortunes. Much as I'd love to chat, I'm not allowed social breaks. I came down here looking for Wolbrin. I suspected he and his little friends might have come to this region. And I was right. But I was too late. Waldron had already been taken to Moonrise Towers. The rest put to work. You won't find a worse gaggle of rare duels than these iron hand gnomes. 
Except for Walbrin. Desperate though his taste in companions might be. As I was contemplating his folly, I was spotted by a very ugly Dwergar. Now, I dig. It isn't good. Dig. And hope for an opportunity to escape. These brutes are no mere goblins. I doubt you could take them on. You will. If you are successful, that would be most convenient. <laughs> Waiting for Thryn to blow a gasket and start kicking the rubble. Best thing I've seen in a ten day. Either part with coin or jog on. Don't want to miss any of this. Time. I'll be here enjoying the show. I'm ready, whatever it takes. Anything of use? Seems simple enough. Eat and drink freely, for the lady doth come. Simple. No time to rest. Thank you. 
take that. easy these days. For me. Tools and a thick rope. Someone climbed up from down below. Let feast the eyes of the faithful. Know your goddess. Know her command.
Your desire. I've got a long road ahead. Let's get on with it. Looking ahead. These boots have seen everything. Someone there? Over there. Blood. No, never mind. Let's move. No one back home will ever believe this. <sighs> one day I'll catch a break. Hold it! I swear to Iron Hand. One more step and a blow is to chunks. An ashen scent fills the air. The barrel is filled with smoke powder, but the scent is acrid as if contaminated somehow. Or much, much more concentrated. As an expert on the subject, my dear lady, I'd like to point out that blowing oneself up is never the solution. Shut your mouth, Hoon, or I'll shut you down. Liar! I know what you are. One of Nia's cult goons. Sailed right in. Better to die in this shit heap than rot in moonrise. You want me? Come get me. Do this. Don't pretend you, you give a shit about me. Shit. I can't do it. Go on. Drag me to Moonrise. I'll make you cult nutters suffer. Well. Aren't you sweet? I'm not stupid, you know. No such thing in Grimforge as kind hearts. Spit out what you want, and let's be done with it. You want to waste rune powder on... Look, you have no idea what you're dealing with. Any true Iron Hand would trade their life for a grain of this stuff. It's the whole damn reason we're here. And I'm not leaving without it. 
Well, let me go. Maybe I'll spare you a vial. Rune powder is gnomish folklore, an explosive of awesome power handed down to the gnomes by their war god, Gerdel Ironhand, a formula so dangerous it was stricken from history, if it ever existed to begin with. Huh. We've heard the same ones, I bet. A fistful of fire that can turn cities to dust. Well, it's real, and I need to bring it back to Baldur's Gate. I'd rather my clan were with me, but the mission comes first. A vial's what I can spare you. Listen, you see Lorida at the dig? Tell her I'm dead. Impaled, half eaten. I don't care. Make up a story. She has a heart made of stone, this one, that only smoke powder can break. Beloved? <laughs> I might have been hers. She sure as hell wasn't mine. I'm getting the rune powder back to Baldur's Gate. Alone. No one stopped me yet. Time to kill. Still breathing, despite everything. way to go, suffocating slowly under a ton of rubble. Not a fate I'd personally relish. So, are we saving this near from suffocating or leaving him to die? I'm fine with either, naturally. The last thing I want to do is ruin these nails digging through rock. serious. Well, of course we can leave him. It's the easiest thing in the world. We just have to keep on walking. But if you insist on being a hero, I won't get in your way. Just don't expect me to help either. That drow, near is going to be on his last gasp unless someone digs him out. Though not necessarily our concern, of course. Just another crate.
for more. Yes, true soul. You better hope your little tricks can turn the true soul! You got the smoke powder? Go on, blow the rubble! Yes, true soul. That's so. Set it near the rubble and ignite it. That'll blow the drow out. Good idea. Oh. I think. Get out of the way! One spark and it'll blow. Blast the thing to bits! Don't mind if I do. Never wanted the easy path. What are you waiting for? Finally! Worthless slaves! Your incompetence has been my ruin! Nay, does not fail. You care for the weak true soul. Most curious. The Absolute demands their slaughter. Yet, here you stand, in bold defiance. A test, yes, you must be. The Absolute bade you to try Nir's faith. Thrym, carve out his heart and serve it to the Rothe. If he indeed is a true soul, let the Absolute save him. Insufferable, insolent scum. I'm going to enjoy this. Shut your shitholes, both of you! You owe my crew a ten days' worth of coin, near, And it's time you shell out. Direct your blade at the heretic, Dwergar. You shall have your coin. You're damn right I'll have it. Me and that one, we got a deal. We beat your ass and dig the juice out from your carcass. You bargained with this wretch. How vexing. Nair is not without mercy, true soul. The rat has given you a chance to earn my favor. Strike him down. Prove your faith. Ha! 
heretics. Let near be your end.
Spill some blood. Shithouse. You see it? Cock Stench had a regular in his skull. All the more reason to clear out. Here's your cut. Extra, too, like I promised. Clan, grab your gear, wipe your asses. Time I scrammed before more pricks from Moonrise Towers move in. Clan property. They come with us. Argue. Your mouth's got the might to back it. No pricks! You're off the hook! Scram before I get my senses! Your brain going mushy, Shark. That's where those absolute freaks hold up. Goblins, drow, gnolls, even humans. Ain't no one they won't try to turn. The way I hear tell, some prick there calls the shots. The General, near called him. And there ain't no way I'm sticking around long enough to meet him. Stop fussing, it's nothing, I swear. Beldron! I was so worried! Did Nia hurt you? No, no, I'm all right. Did the Sergeant hurt you? Oh, who cares? We're together now, thank Iron Hand. <laughs> we ought to thank someone a little closer by, I think. Gaedel Iron Hand, you may not be, but you damn well fight like him. <laughs> I'm grateful, don't mistake me, but why help us? You're one of them, aren't you? Glittering gods! I should have known that one was too damn stubborn to die. Here. The Iron Hand gnomes honor their debts. With Wolverine gone, that falls to me. Make it quick. We need to find Wolverine. Now! You're a little late, Barkus, my lad. He's already been sent to Moonrise Towers. We were just slave hands to the cult, but not Warburn. He knows things. Things they want to know, too. What has he gotten himself mixed up in now? Well, then it seems you've saved us twice over. Gods above, she bloody did it. <laughs> of course she did. <sighs> Warbrun has a way of attracting true believers. His quest for rune powder was the latest dream he stuffed in our heads. <laughs> and he was bloody right. He found it. A small cache sitting down here with a manuscript. He just made sense of the formula when the cult jumped us, so he burned the damn thing. If there's a single copy left, it's sitting in his head. 
Those absolutists pull it out and make rune powder, they could flatten the whole of the Sword Coast. Not long enough. My people can barely stand, and we have business back in the city. Business that sent us after the powder to begin with. The formula might be gone, but we still have the barrels. And just like that, you'd leave Walbrin behind. I knew you lot were foolish, but I didn't know you were cruel. If you knew half as much as you think, my lad, Walbrin might have kept you around. And neither will this twit, apparently. My people will find somewhere to regroup across the lake. Then, on to the city. If you find yourself in Baldur's Gate, seek us out. We'll raise a glass to Walbrun together. Are you all right? Hmm. Lunk. At least... At least some of us are safe. Praise Iron Hand. If only there were more blessings to count. Move on! I gave her everything! And she has the gall to send you to break me! Just get away from me! He did this to you. My sister! Dead by Nia's hand. Mana, I'm so sorry. It was over in a flash. They're at peace now. Mana is on end. I can't bear to think about it. You don't need to. We're together. That's what matters. No traps, please. He did this to you. What's up for discussion? It was over in a flash. Well, you did it. Free. Y yes. As you know, some of the Iron Hand gnomes, my friend Walbrin among them, have been taken prisoner in Moonrise Towers. They're not even going after him. I wish I were surprised. And so, to Moonrise Towers I go. Certainly not. In case you haven't been paying attention, my friend has been taken captive. He needs me. I was unlucky twice. The odds of it happening again are very slim. Then again, a small rest might be prudent. Uh, give me time to think. Hm. Hmm. Fine. Show me where to go and I'll try my luck. I'll have a better chance of rescuing Walbrin if I'm at my best. And, um, 
Thank you. Shh. So sweet out of your mind. I'm... Moving in. I thank you for the invitation to your camp. It's, um, well appointed, not too crowded, perfect for thinking. And I've been doing just that. It's about Wolbrin. We know he's been taken to Moonrise Towers, and we know I'm going to save him. The problem is this. A preponderance of evidence that I am a terrible adventurer. I'm not sure I should trust Wolbrin's fate to, well, me. Hmm. You've done so much already. I'm hesitant to prevail upon you again. But I can't risk recapture. I barely escaped last time. You'd do it then. You'd look for him. That's... <clears throat> very decent of you. Thank you. There's something else you should know. Something I can no longer ignore. I know you've learned about the gnome's pursuit of rune powder, but do you know what it truly is? That myth has come to life. The Iron Hand gnomes have proven the impossible. Rune powder is real, and they have it in their possession. Destruction. The only thing it's good for. A destruction of what? Well, I'm hoping Wilbrin will be able to tell us. I shouldn't have let him drift away. Shouldn't have let that lot get their claws into him. Now more than ever, I need to find him. We need to find him. He's the only one I might be able to speak to sensibly. I haven't been there myself. The area around it is, well, cursed. Terrifyingly so. I did hear something interesting, though. There are shades that plague the path to the towers. Shades that fear not steel, but light. Dwergar, who mentioned it, sounded truly traumatized. It was almost amusing. I'd kiss you. But neither of us deserve that. Thank you. Like what? Alchemist? Tinkerer? Adventurer? Curmudgeon? <laughs> I wear many hats. Most with great enthusiasm. Thank you for noticing. Barkus Root is my name. Baldur's Gate is my home. Back in the city, I offered my expertise to the highest bidder. I was quite popular, too. I'm not picky about my customers. I suppose I... I suppose I'd be very, very sad. Then, after a while, I'd find whoever killed him and put a smoke powder bomb in their trousers. Jack catches your eye. A lantern, it seems. Though no light flickers within. Broken. And there's dust inside it.
This is pixie dust, used to illuminate a lamp, or left behind after a pixie's death. You see no burner or wick. It was not fuel that lit this lamp, but magic. Things have stayed interesting.
Need something? What a day. All's well that ends. No, not as bad as it Well, hello. What can I do for you? May the darkness protect you. Tell me, what can I do for you?
Don't touch me. Delightful. on my feet. Gods are watching me. Something good here, I hope. The Mykonids are trying to help, but I keep seeing my friends in Moonrise screaming. You look 
Worse than last I saw you. Thank you. For saving Beldron, I mean. I just wish... Well, it's too late now. Thank you. Thanks again for offing that drow. Only made it here because of you. But I can't stop thinking about the rest of us. Stuck in Moonrise with a bunch of sadists. Poor bastards. I should speak half up. of what they're saying. You saved my skin. But there's more bastards out there. For every one you kill, paint on me. No need for me to ask how you fared. Some of my kin have already made it here, safe and sound. It's past time we were back in the city. But if you find yourself there, call on us. The Iron Hand gnomes are good friends to have. Like I say, we Iron Hands make good friends. But bad enemies too. Some folk are about to be reminded of that. Peace bringer, be at home. The drow sought to shatter our circle. Now his flesh may feed its growth. In dealing death, you have brought this circle life. And thus we name you Life Chanter. As our circle grows, so shall your song. Wherever you go, only listen, and you may hear it. any new discoveries I do enjoy a good bargain if anything in my private collection is to your liking
very well. I have mushrooms to catalogue. We'll be clearing out soon enough. You come across a noble stock mushroom about, you give it here. Gods know I've earned it. Careful, I mind. Salutations. There is work to do. Elminster's not around, so it might as well. I have a lot on my mind and, well, in it. On my way. Let's see. Centuries of blazing heat have smoothed away the plaque's inscription. inside. Let me put my magic. Yes. 
path less traveled. Give it a shot. Forge your blade in the fires and raise it in the mistress's name. Let's have a look. Open up. Chances.
with the weave. distance, darling. Still breathing, despite everything. Can't give up now.
<laughs> the amulet is heavy, but holds a subtle warmth, like it was left under the sun. Suddenly, the metal surges with heat. You feel great power and an overwhelming urge to laugh. Can ah, thou endure? Your faith and dedication surrounds you, forming an impenetrable shield. Thou hast done well. For what is a laugh if not one step toward madness? <laughs> Thou art the wonder! Return me, take me home, and thou shalt glow with blessings! To my granddaughter, Shira Clarwen. Serves Ilmata, she does. She waits in Worms Crossing. Take me there, and thou shalt bathe in her golden gifts. Oh, thou shalt be blessed indeed. <laughs> A ghost? <laughs> I am sunlight on water, dew on grass. Sharon's broke my body. But my spirit, they could not. Well, not completely. <laughs> Thou shalt return me home. It is written. The rampant joy you sense the monk's fear and sincerity. He doesn't wish to harm you, but that doesn't mean he won't. Etched on its face is an image of the dawning sun. You recognize the symbol. It belongs to those sworn to Lathander, god of dawn and renewal. Whatever madness this spirit suffers was inflicted by Lathander's enemies, followers of Shah. And this madness may flow into you. I shall walk with thee. I shall grant you my power. <laughs> You feel a chuckle coming on, but it soon fades.
all's well that ends not as bad as it could have. Did the trick all right? And down it goes. Alive and fighting. Ah! me yet. Time to press ahead.
is worth the cost. inside out. and blades always sharp.
What to do? What's next? will guide me. Which way to the nearest library? Forthwith. Whatever comes, I'm ready.
Time to see what new horrors waiting for us. emblem. I don't think I've seen it before. Seek and you shall find me. I've got a long road ahead. Breathe deep and move. Something good here, I hope. Oh, wish I had a bag of holding.
We offer our prayers to the Dark Lady, whose comfort and grace heals all. Here we go. We offer our pain to the Lady of Loss, that she may truly know her faithful. We offer ourselves to the darkness, that Blessed Shah may give us her mercy. Best be on my way. Always room for more? Mm. What's hiding here? Who there, wanderer? Stay thy course a moment to indulge an old man. Elminster? The very same, Gale. And a fair bit miffed he is, too. Finding himself forced to expose his best pair of boots to so many miles of country road on your behalf. Minstrel by trade when I see one. <laughs> Tell me, what valor bold enough to lift me onto the pedestal of acclaim enjoys your musical predilection? Ha! Old but hearty, and rife with witty flourishes. <laughs> Not unlike myself. I confess it to be among my favorite few as well. Yes, yes, yes. Be that as it may, you said you came all this way on my behalf, did you not? For what purpose? I was bid and spare neither time nor my own self to find you. She sent me, Gale. You know of whom I speak. But why? Out with it, Elminster. Please. Young man, has your sojourn away from Bordity washed away your decorum as well as your patience? Nigh a ten day I've gone without honest fare, worthy of the name, drank naught, but what the sky entitled my thirst. Why, some bread, cheese, and a cup of wine would appear unto me a feast. Surely you will begrudge me a mite of rest and repast before I get out with it and a great kindness that would be see Gail even in these barren parts the art of hospitality begets inspired new works if only one keeps up the practice oh for the love of uh, well, this way then hmm. to your camp Oh, don't dawdle now, lad. You're the one who's in such a frightful hurry. Oh, nigh on 13 centuries old and he still thinks with his stomach. We'd best follow and see if he's more disposed to speak plainly once it's stopped its grumbling. A wise choice. Better to indulge your curiosity than Elminster's appetite. Yes, what a delightful wedge of old as Turin that was. 
doesn't do to parlay on an empty stomach, you know. Makes one's words frivolous when they should be grave. Plenty to digest, after all. A good deal to stew over, if you will. Words ladled with import should be savored so as to better absorb their meaning. Wouldn't you agree? Alminster. Right. Um... You see... I... Um... Well, that is to say... Gail, my boy. I've come to address a most pressing matter. I'll speak as plainly as I can, forswearing the accustomed frills that decorate my speech. I'm here on behalf of Mistra. The message and the charge I bring you are hers. Oh, Mistra's delicate feet are ill-suited for the hardships of the road. You know where you went wrong, Gale. No, we needn't dwell on that here and now. But even so, you're to be given a chance of redemption. Mistra would consider... forgiveness? She would consider... what she considers to be forgiveness. Mistra is aware of the misadventures that have befallen you both. She knows of your strife with the Absolute, that most insidious of evils. They choose the instruments of their will with great precision. Sometimes the single drops we think we are do not realize what waves we are building up to be. Do not discount yourself, and by the same token, do not discount your enemy. You must know that the Absolute is more dangerous than you can possibly conceive. It threatens all who live, even those who are undying. It threatens the gods, the weave, the very fabric of the universe itself. That is why I have come here to charge you, Gale, with its destruction. It is Mistress belief that only you can. The orb. Precisely. Mistra has granted me the power to stop the clock, as it were, on the orb's rush to overpower you. Instead, you will be able to unleash its lethal combustion at will. Interesting. This could be help or hindrance. We shall have to see. You must find the heart of the Absolute, whatever that may be, and use yourself as the uh, catalyst that will burn it from this world. He is not. But it seems that Mistra is. It brings me no pleasure saying this, my friend. But such is Mistra's will. Yours must be the sacrifice that will undo the Absolute. And for your sacrifice, you will be redeemed. Such is Mistra's promise. With that, I've said my sorry piece. And need only bestow unto thee the charm I was bid. My nahastra mistra ril idalion thras anas tifra. It is done. Both charge and charm have been committed into your care. 
To you, I commit into care Gale himself. I count on you to shepherd him well on this strangest of journeys. Or some other fortune altogether. Like moons make swell and wane the nescient seas, so too the sky-struven gods ordain the tidal fates of mortal days. And yet, an ocean born in lonely hours, come ebb, come flow, come all that is beyond the breadth of our dominion, be a moon unto yourself. Even the waves of fate can break upon the shores of will. Farewell, my friend. Farewell, Elminster. I'm glad she chose you. Maybe it'll bring us closer. An audience with Elminster is never less than memorable. I'd have hoped to introduce you to him in less dire circumstances. But those are hard to come by these days. It's not a demand he wanted to make of me. As mistress chosen, he had no choice but to deliver her message. However much it pained him to do so. For Mistra to have sent him. The severity of her bidding could not be clearer or weigh more heavily on me. Time seems so infinite when you're young. A month is an age, a year is a lifetime. It is a strange feeling to realize how little of it one might have left. Of course. We offer the clearest solution to our problem. All I have to do is find the right place and time, close my eyes, and let go. Then the slate will be clean. Wrongs will be righted, the absolute will be gone, and I along with it. I've no doubt she has the power to do so, but as for the permission, Ao would not look kindly on her meddling in mortal affairs. Divine intervention has a tendency to make things worse, not better. As for Elminster, he saved the realms more times than legend can recount. But to take on a god is no easy feat, even for him. My orb is the best chance we have, and only I can wield it. If there was, I'm sure the goddess of magic and the greatest wizard who ever lived would have identified it. But alas, only one solution is offered. That remains ahead of us for now. The heart of the Absolute must be discovered before I can stop its beating. Let's save such certainty for the moment such a decision is upon us. You may feel differently once we know what we're truly up against. I can't believe Mistress demanding Gale sacrifice himself to destroy the Absolute. It's just a waste of a perfectly good cult that we could be controlling. And a waste of a perfectly good Gale, I suppose. I can't believe Mistra actually expects Gale to just sacrifice himself like that. Seems like a waste of a fine mind. Fine. What's on your mind? Oh, was that Gale's granddad? doesn't ring a bell. But all right. Must have had something important to say to Gale if he came all this way. Good news, I hope. <laughs> oh, 
Whoa, now, he's got a... Well, I guess that would explain a little, but... Mistra? <laughs> I mean, this is a lot to take in. What's he going to do? Well, tell him to pick the right one. Well, better yet, I'll do it. <sighs> Fucking wizards, man. They always need help picking the simple, obvious option. If Mistra can't think of another way to stop the Absolute than sacrificing Gale, she's no god worth worshipping. I'll say that to Gale in, you know, gentle terms. Yes! We need to go find Damon. I'm going to get a hug soon! A shame my first brush with the famed Elminster couldn't be a tad more optimistic. Listen, I might invoke the triad from time to time, appeal to Helm, but I'm no man of faith, not like Gale. I don't know what drives a man to consider his own death among countless others to be an appropriate exchange for his goddess's forgiveness. To me, it all sounds like nonsense. The faith that matters most is that which you hold in yourself, in the ones that most matter to you. Big Bomb be damned. Gale's got everything he needs to defeat the Absolute already. Talent, nerve, and powerful allies at his side. I hope he'll come to see that. Elminster. Even the Githyanki have heard tell of the Sage of Shadowdale. Some of his works have been translated to Tirsu. That doesn't mean his every word carries wisdom, however. Near as I can tell, Mistra demands Gale's faith, but holds no faith in him. Why else would she demand Gale sacrifice himself, and perhaps so many others? Does she not think he can destroy the Absolute with his own immense talents? Does she not know the mighty company that he keeps? Demanding Vlakith may be, but she acts for the good of the Githyanki people. Mistress concerned only for herself. <sighs> Perhaps he'd find forgiveness in a fiery death. But I can't help but wonder why he'd want it at all.
Broken moon lantern catches your eye. Its glow now snuffed out. to rest. Another step forward. Better be careful around here. Shrouded in their ordinary shadows. What evil lurks within such darkness? We have to push through. At the ready. power here, but they don't seem to be holding me. The Shadow Curse. It doesn't seem to affect me like it does others. Not as badly, at least. Do you know what this means? I must be blessed. Lady Shah is protecting me where others are left to face her wrath. She loves me. She must do. Lady Shah wouldn't bless me like this for no reason. There must be something she wants of me. Those signs we found about Dark Justicias, perhaps they were no coincidence. In either case, I need to watch for any place dedicated to Lady Shah. A temple, perhaps. Something over there. I truly hope this blight isn't spreading.
can feel her. Something good here, I hope. The animal never had a chance. The curse consumes everything it touches. Last light in west. Moonrise Towers, southwest. Stay together. Keep to the light. Chatty shadow, I'll give you that. Come out into the light, hands high. Jonas, move in.
take you. The dice roll in my favor. Now we've got to move. I know a safe place. Give me your map. Keep your torch high. If you step into the shadows, you'll be felled in a heartbeat. That's right. Protected by magic. Only spot in the region that's not been swallowed up by this damn curse. Light will save you here on the outskirts, but a few paces deeper, you're screwed. If you want to catch your breath, the inn's the only place to do it. Hope to see you there. Harpers, move out! It's quite thrilling to fight off such grim creatures as this region throws at us. Especially being at your side. I am... Um once read a book that explained in some detail the effect a brush with danger has on one's desire for uh, other forms of stimulation. Have you ever read anything on that subject? Only that I find you quite irresistible. Even illuminated by such rotten light as this place produces. Perhaps it's just the thrill of our near undead experience talking. <laughs> Standing at your side through such darkness and disrepair. It only makes me want you more. Unfortunately, this is neither the time nor the place to indulge such feelings. So, we must be patient and push all such thoughts aside. For now. Was there anything else you wish to discuss? She expects those who seek to use the weave to do so honestly and with respect for its potential to destroy as well as its potential to save. I doubt she's asked many of her followers to blow themselves up. That's a fate she's bequeathed exclusively to me. She wouldn't ask such a thing if it weren't our only means of survival. However much she's annoyed at me. Oh, you know me, ever the optimist. I'm trying to focus on the positives. Truth is, I was living on borrowed time already. Consuming those items would only have kept the orb sated for so long. If anything, I feel more at peace than I have in months. At least now I know my death will have purpose. It won't be a distant bang in the footnotes of history. You see a man stalking slowly through the woods, bow half-drawn. If he bags a deer, the whole family will be kept fed all winter. You sense a young woman gazing at Moonrise Towers in awe. Perhaps one day she will get to gaze out from atop it, she hopes. Here goes nothing. You see an older woman on her knees scrubbing the floor of an inn. The patrons made a mess of things again the night before. Well, don't mind if I do. Dreams. 
experience of boarding a ship in Baldur's Gate and seeing the world. But then the darkness came. The image of an orange-haired cat asleep before a fireplace comes to you. What came of it? This girl played in the nearby woods. She was always the best at climbing trees. This place. There's a power in these shadows. I can sense it. It's ancient. Familiar. Rings a bell? Why? Oh, hells. You didn't pick that by hand, did you? They're deadly poisonous. Joking! They're safe. And beautiful. Thank you. I don't have anything to give you in return, I'm afraid. Well, perhaps I can come up with something later. All the same. Wonder if the gods are watching me. on. Is your guilt. The waning moon. You walk in the darkness unafraid. How curious. <laughs> A fair point. Perhaps this one could assist us. The murdered lie silent. The raven asks, will you be their voice? Then you and I were fated to meet. This woman tended a bar where she took her patrons, her friends, into her confidence, promised their secrets were safe with her. Yet she turned their words into knives and stabbed them in the back. They died because of her, and to this day her victims lie unavenged. The Fugue Plain is no obstacle to one such as I. I seek a record of this one's crimes, written in her own hand. Through it, I can summon her spirit and force her to face trial for her crimes. Not for one such as I. Your soul sparks with justice, with fortitude. 
This is your chance to bring a murderer to justice. To avenge her victims. Will you take it? I thank you. As to those who died by her words. Go to the distillery. The one she calls the Waning Moon. Find the ledger and bring it to me. Is 
tainted by the shadows, no doubt. Best avoided. No traps, please. Seems simple enough. This place is protected. For a warm bed. Must and be the refuge stomach. the harpers Look spoke no of. Further. Welcome to the Last Light Inn. No shadows here. Something must be keeping it at bay. You there! Step forward and keep your hands off your weapons. Easy! He's with me. Come. Jahira! It seems tales of my clemency have been greatly exaggerated. You're about to. This is why we're here, you see. It is a curious creature that hides all manner of secrets. But if there's one thing that we know... that it knows its own kind. You should never have come here, true soul. who protected the Emerald Grove. Yup. Didn't leave a goblin standing. Not so bad to hang around with either. Saved two of my friends. One from a harpy, and one from a mad druid with a snake. Didn't make a fuss of our thieving either. I pretty much trust him with my life. A true soul with a mind of his own? How is that possible? in the hells is that thing? Congratulations! You've earned yourself the benefit of the doubt. Hear me, Harpers! All clear! At ease! I'll not pretend to understand what that artifact is. But I'm old and wise enough to recognize a sliver of hope when it crawls out of the dark. Tell me... Why have you come here? Then our interests align. We must all cure ourselves... ...of the entire cult of the Absolute. There's food in the inn over there. Beds too, if you require rest. Aloe oil in the cupboard, in case the vines gave you a rash. Settle in. Then come join me for a drink. You may just be the godsend we've been praying for. Blood, this is heavy. Whatever I expected to find, lurking. Certainly wasn't I. Nice. A glimmer of us. hope amidst the darkness. I have... That's one way of looking at it. You could also... Stock up while you can. I only hope I've brought enough to see us through.
next move is. Take care now. your taste. Time to press ahead. What's inside?
Wished to live in more interesting times. Light on my feet. Something's on my mind. <sighs> hey, soldier, I. <sighs> well, I'm not feeling so good. Engine. It's getting worse. Oh, feels like it's going to burst out of my chest. <clears throat> we need to catch up with Damon. See if he's thought of a way to fix this thing. If it can be fixed. I'm sure we will. <clears throat> but in case we don't, a bit of advice. You leave your left flank wide open. If I'm ever not around to cover it, you may find yourself on the wrong side of a goblin spear one of these days. This dark land must be filled with the broken, the beaten, the desperate. The perfect praying ground for a devil who offers a way out for those who sign on the dotted line. I hope we end up seeing our friend Raphael down here somewhere. Help me find him, and you'll find out. When I was taken to his house, I was caught off guard. But now... Now I know what to ask for. <laughs> That's quite the achievement. But trust me, I know what I'm doing. I'm sure he'll turn up at one point or another.
Always a delight to speak with you. What can I do? This does. The voice of the Absolute is strong here, and getting stronger. I don't know how much longer I can resist it. But it's good to see you're making progress. You took an unexpected route here. You did a brave thing, saving those people in the grove. Don't be so hard on yourself. It's not your fault the world is wicked. You did the right thing. It just doesn't stop. We are being bombarded by waves of telepathic energy. You did a brave thing, saving those people. Don't be so hard on yourself. It's not your fault the world is wicked. You did the right thing. It just doesn't stop. We are being bombed. But it's good to see you're making progress. You did a brave thing, saving those people in the grove. Don't be so hard on yourself. It's not your fault the world is wicked. You did the right thing. The hurt runs deeper than she's willing to show you. Yes. Yes, I am. Beneath the resilient veneer, a touch of fragility. She needs comfort. It's been a very long time since someone did that. For me. Of course. It just doesn't stop. We are being bombarded by waves of telepathic energy. Wave after wave with hardly a breath between them. I almost dare not rest. Each wave a set of orders to the infected. The order for your transformation has been given many times already. I just hope my powers last long enough to see this through. <laughs> 